Oh, hey, welcome inside the mind of Matt. I was just busy working on something because uh, tomorrow is uh, Valentine's Day. So I've got a special print that I found and I came up with a really good idea to show you guys. And we're going to uh, make a special 3D Valentine's Day present. So let's uh, get over and check out what the, the uh, model is that I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to do so this is where I, I'm going to print um, and I'm going to slice it in my simplified 3d um, just going to check on my processes here real quick uh, point two I'm going to use a skirt um, and fill a 10 uh, no supports, uh, temperature bed at 61, 210 I should say for my extruder, fan on, all that should be just the same. Oh, and I do, I am going at uh, 50, um, millimeters per second now it's printing a little bit slower and I'm getting a little bit better quality so not in a rush on this particular model so but here's going to be the key all right so I'm going to go ahead and slice that with that process and this is where octoprint is going to come in handy because like I said we're going to put this in three different layers so this top part is all going to be pink. And the top of the letters are going to be pink. And then we're going to get down into some green on top of that. And then I'm going to make the base white. So what we'll do is we'll export it. Once again, I'm using Octoprint. And there's a way that you can set up what's called a watch folder here and I just uh, save it right to the watch folder and it's automatically sent right to my octoprint all right so this is the model we're gonna load that okay now we're gonna go to the G code viewer this is where we find the layer now you gotta let it load And then once it loads, we're going to find some layers. All right. So here's the base. And we can scroll up this way. All right. There we go. And that's where it starts to change into something different. So what we want. It's defined right, right there. Is the last of the white. Okay, let's see how many layers we've got of green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so there, right there, is the top of the. You are so beautiful. So we're going to, at level twenty-five, we're going to have one change. And then we're going to have another one. Oop, went too far. 25. Okay. And I think we'll go at 11. 11 and 25. Okay. So now you're going to go up to here. 
and you're going to click on multi colors. So you want a filament change in what layer? 11. And then hit the process. 25. And hit the process. Boom. Done. That easy. So what you need to be doing is paying attention. So when it gets around that level, then uh, you're going to have to be around to change the filament. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reconvene in front of the printer and do a little bit of calibrating real quick. And uh, we're going to time lapse the print and go from there. So enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and uh, share on your social media if you'd like as well. So trying to hit that 100 mark goal, 100 subscriber goal that is. All right. All right. So got my uh, got my iPad here, and if you didn't watch my last video, you didn't get to see it, but I've got me some buttons right here that... Uh, We'll move the bed around to all four of my corners and make tweaking this thing, twisting them knobs, getting to the right spot without having to, to move that thing around. Because I always feel when I'm moving the bed manually and moving the carriage manually that it's, uh, you know, putting things out of whack. So, but real quick, we're going to, we're going to home all. I'm going to check my bed level here real quick. And then uh, we'll proceed to print. Looks good. Front right. talking when I was, did that last one so let's check it and that's how quick and easy it is all right a little uh, fresh spray hairspray just gotta wait for the extruder warm up and uh we're going to be going white for the base, green for the stems, and pink for the flower. Stay tuned. First color change. I'm gonna give her a little push. Give it a pull. Out. And with the green. Make sure you get your filter back on if you're using one. Highly suggest it. If I cut it at a different angle, it helps. But in normal circumstances, it is. Okay. Make sure I hit the resume button this time. She probably wanted to start it one layer higher. A little progress check. The green is still printing, but it came out 
A perfect level this time. Almost ready for the one for the pink. That's what we're going to do next. Pink. Well, that was just like a second ago. I took that little progress support and I sat down and it's ready for pink. So out with the green. Whoa. That was almost disastrous. See if I can get this one in quicker than the green one in. Bam, first try. Pink's in. That one went smoother, that was much better than the green, holy crap. And we got pink coming out. Be back towards the end. It definitely worked. I don't know how good the layer is stuck until it's done, but successfully changed filament twice during one thing. Awesome. All right, well, we finished, and we have three colors printed in one print with a single extruding A-Net 8.8. So I hope you like this video. Got more to come. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit your notification share it make some suggestions in the comment section on what you'd like to see me print if you're into it so anyways don't forget to say something nice to somebody today have a great day folks have a happy valentine's day